Hey, hey, my lovies. Happy New Year. Woo woo. Okay, so it's literally the first. Y'all know I was going to have something to say today. And it's actually going to be two somethings, okay? The first one, I'm taking from my pastor and I'm just passing on the message, okay? But take it seriously. Lean in. In order to have a new year, you must become a new you. I talked about this a little bit in my video that has the little title Luke on it. But when you look into it, new year equals new you means you have to be more and become more in order to have more in your year. You want a new car? Take care of the one you got. You want to buy a house? Make sure yours is spick and span, bills paid on time. You want to be fit? Set a schedule and make it to the gym. Don't give yourself no excuses. If you want your hair to grow, oil your scalp. Get the good oils. Don't get the cheap stuff. Get the good stuff. And you could use that oil as anointment, some holy oil. Allow God in your life to renew your mind and renew your heart, y'all. In order to have a better year, you need a better you. The second thing I'm going to say to you is do not forsake living by faith. The one thing that I can say challenged me the most last year, but has rewarded me the most. We're on January 1st and I've already re reaped the harvest, the blessings, is me not forsaking living by faith. Like I said, it's a challenge, but when you do it, the reward is more than you could ever ask, think, or imagine, okay? God has so much planned for you. He has so much that he wants to do for you. He has so much that he wants to bring into your life. But you're going to need some faith for it because many are the afflictions of the righteous. But you have to remember the second part of that scripture that says, but the Lord delivers him from them all. So even if you just finished paying all your bills today on the first and your account says two dollars, receive that. It'll say two million by the end of this year. And you don't even have to know or understand how you're going to make that two million. If you have faith and you believe and you lean into God, you don't have to. He's going to make it happen. You could win the lotto. You could come up with a brilliant business idea. Somebody could gift you some money and you get into investments. God never tells us to figure out how. All he says is have faith. So I urge you, I implore y'all, please do not forsake living by faith this year. It will be life changing. So that was the two things, y'all. New year, new you, and do not forsake living by faith this year. Put everything, not some things, everything in God's hands. And if you have more questions on not forsaking living by faith and what exactly that means, check out my YouTube channel. I got a video going up at the end of this week. Happy 2023!